G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, I've got all the insulation in the furnace and it's uh, it's ready to go. I'm just curing it. I've had it standing out in the uh, sun all of yesterday. It was extremely hot here, 38 degrees. So that really heated things up. So it's uh, it's hardened up quite nicely. It's all good. And I got two lots of mixture. I did the lid with four to one and I did the bottom section with three to one perlite to mortar cement, yeah, refractory mortar rather. And um, yeah, it's, it's come up pretty good. I'll come in close and have a look at it. I'm just doing this outside. This morning's nice and cool. Well, coolish. Uh, so you can see where I've taken the pot plant out, the pot out, and that's finished it off. Made the shape. I then lined it inside with a little bit of uh, just refractory mortar, just plastered it, you know, because it was like the perlite got a bit of a rough finish, you know, not bad, but a bit rough. So I just lined it with uh, a very thin layer of um, refractory mortar. Hopefully that will protect it a bit. So now it's just a matter of, as it's pretty much it's hardened right up, I'm now going to just heat it up with a low temperature gas torch, not the great big you know, burner that I've got to go in it. I'll just use the standard one in there and I'll just run it for a while. And uh, yeah, I might even put the um, the crucible in with a bit of aluminium in it and just see how it goes, you know, it can't hurt. So um, for now we'll fire it up and then I'll, I'll stick the crucible in a bit later. So this should cure it, you know, this should um, get it all good. I'm glad I put wheels on it because this thing is bloody heavy. Like it's, um, yeah, I haven't weighed it, but it would, <laughs> yeah, the lid just goes down. It all comes in good. So yeah, we'll fire it up.
Well, that worked pretty good. That was just a small burner and it melted that no problem whatsoever. And that was on full bore. So you can see it's, uh, yeah, it turned out pretty good. So when we get the big burner, she should really bloody melt the stuff. But it all held together pretty well. So I'm pleased with this, it's turned out okay. So even with this size burner, it still did the job, you know, no problem whatsoever. And uh, so you don't, you know, I mean, obviously the bigger burner you can get, the better. But this has got sufficient heat to melt that, no problem whatsoever. So that was a success, I think. And uh, yeah, I'll rig up the big burner next. That, that was just enough to, you know, heat it up without going full bore. I wanted to just drive off what moisture was there. It's all held together really nicely. I felt the outside, there was some heat transfer, but it wasn't excessive, but it wouldn't want to leave your hand there too long. And now it's just a matter of uh, take, out the, take out the aluminium and see if it's any good, which it will be. But uh, yeah, good. So there you go guys, the, the LPG uh, propane 10 kg burner is a success, no problem whatsoever. And now the next thing is, yeah, let it cool down and then when I get a chance I'll put the big burner in it and really see what it can do. It should be awesome. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you next time. Cheers.